Hello and welcome to this video. This is a, a Virgin train hurtling by on the East Coast Line, heading south. Makes a racket. And this video is about, video is about uh, a place called Mains of Usen, Chapel Mill. It used to be an old mill and now it's derelict and there's me with a bad hair day. Yeah, bad hair day. And this is oozing. You can see the old buildings. There's none of them particularly safe, so care has to be taken as you're walking around. We will go around them all. The farmer uses them mainly for storage now up there. And there's a mausoleum here dedicated to the Scott family who used to own a house at Usen. Look at the old fireplace. I suppose they needed it for the ovens there for baking the bread. It must have been a thriving business and I can't find out anything about it. I love this old gate though, look at this. Quirky or what, eh? And there's a stream that run the mill. Well, run the water wheel that powered the mill. And the basis is there for the mill wheel. Just there on this side, you can't see it's all gone down into the water. But when it's been raining, that comes down a fair old wallop. And uh, underneath the building and out in a stream to the North Sea, which you will see shortly. And that's the North Sea in the distance with Skirdy Ness Lighthouse and Ferry Den and Montrose and St. Cyrus around there. All worth a visit. It's a lovely walk from Montrose to here and round a bit further to Bowden where the lime kilns are. We're not short of beautiful walks. You can see the building is in a bit of a state. And there's no sign of anything being done uh, as regards work-wise in there. It's called the mill, the mill, chapel mill, so we must assume that was it. It was a chapel mill, but there's no chapel. At least not in living memory. <laughs> I never see anybody when I'm here, so you could say, excuse me, do you know? But uh, I've never seen MD and I've googled it and all the other things that you would do. Never found anything sort of to back anything up. It's an unknown building and it's listed as at risk. But as to its age, they don't even know that. This is the mausoleum, as the writing says. Now there is a gravestone on the floor, a slab, and it is inscribed and maybe Somebody was buried there, but I, I doubt it. It's meant to just be a mausoleum. You can see it's all Scots and, and all the wives. There's a, a big one right on the back wall. Uh, and it really is a work of art. I wish the camera could show up a lot better with the engravings in it and everything else and the writing, a lot of it in Latin. I learned Latin at school, but as far as a mo, a mass, a mat, I've forgotten most of the rest of it. <laughs> now that's for winching a boat up out of that little harbour thing there. And look, the Skirdy Ness Lighthouse again. It gets around a bit. It's not a half bad beach here. I mean, it's not on par with Montrose Beach. Oh, look. What's that? Is that Skirdy Ness, I see? And there's a stream that comes out from underneath the old mill. Over there. You're getting a good view of the barbed wire, but it is over there. There you go. And this is us up at the other ha houses higher up. 
which I assume were lived in at one time. You can look in the window, you could go in. It's, it's just f full of cattle muck and stuff because as you can see by the muddy ground footprints, there are cattle here in the distance in the same field. So they probably come here to get out of the inclement weather that Scotland has been known for. But you can see the walls have been plastered and so on. Uh, Sandline mortar. So somebody's used it as a, an accommodation situation. Oh look, what's that in the distance? It's that gate. <laughs> Not Scurdy Ness Lighthouse. It's there. It's a lovely lighthouse anyway. And if you walk round from here, this is a bit of a swimming pool when it fills up with water. It's lovely. I think it's na natural. Um, nobody would want to create it. But yeah, it fills up with water and it stays nice and warm, but it's changed twice a day with the tides in and out. And I'll show you the opening. It's only about two foot wide, five feet, four feet tall. And I'll look, there's Sandy Braze and Scurdy Ness Lighthouse. You'll remember Scurdy Ness Lighthouse, won't you? <laughs> oh look, <laughs> there it is again. And that's water, just for those who aren't quite sure. <laughs> and look, I'm not going to say it, you know the name. I can just imagine somebody nudging their partner there saying, what was that name again? What was that name? That lighthouse. <laughs> anyway, there's that opening that lets the pool fill up and empties out. And it's also the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.